than what you expect from me, Viv. We had a deal. I didn't always hold up my end, but... We had plans, man. You deserve more. me to see me. It's about time me and you had a word, Joshua. What? Anything in particular? How are things with you and Mel? Don't be shy. She's frustrated. Wants to see the business going again. She told you that. Where else did she tell you? That was all. I swear. <clears throat> well, look. She told you that. That must mean she trusts you. And she's not a bad judge of character now, is she? No. Stick at it, Jalen. You can leave now. Listen, I need you to do something for me. I know uh, the situation hasn't been easy on us. Vivian was our world and she left us. But she left us two beautiful gifts. I want you to mentor Mel, guide her. I want her to take over the financial part of the business and extend. Simon will be there, but it will be nothing without her. She'll be able to make this great again. And I need to trust you with this, okay? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I can handle that. Listen, Pat. How are you keeping? We need to prepare. Things are moving. I hear that, but... How are you? I'm gonna head out. We'll, uh, we'll speak later. I miss her, Pat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, I'll, I'll handle it. Leave it with me. Hey. Hey. Look. Look. Let me. I owe you an apology. We don't have to do this. No. Nah, we do. I shouldn't have said what I said about Simon. But I did. I can't take it back. But I won't say it again. I'm glad to hear that. I know there's a lot going on right now. But I understand that nothing good is going to come from us not being on the same page, Mel. So moving forward, I want you to know that you can count on me. That means a lot to me. Well? What? Mel. Okay, okay. I shouldn't have been so harsh on you. No, you shouldn't have. But I get it. I know that you only want what's best for me. We won't have to go there again. Thank you. I'll do a better job. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Mm, not really. I am going to go and look for Simon and Lucy. Are you sure that's a good idea? I know Dad said to give it time, but we don't have time. We're losing money by the minute. Fair enough. Do you want to meet up later? I'd like that. i got to take this. See you. Bye. Hello? Hey. How are you? She was strange at times, wasn't she? What do you mean? Like, she'd always combine the stuff that she loved. I remember when we were kids, right? She loved chocolate. Milk chocolate. And when it came to getting a glass of juice, it was always... Orange juice. Exactly. So... So... She loved the Jaffa cake. <laughs> <laughs> Any time you want to chat, feel free to call Vic. Cheers, Mel. Bye. Hi, hi, excuse me. Do you have any change? No, I'm sorry. I just sorry. need, please. Uh, uh, hi, 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 sorry. Um, do you have any change? Can I use your phone? Please. I'm in a really, really Why? bad situation. I just need to call my sister, if that's okay. You can be with me in here. And please, uh, look. How long do you need it? Like one minute. See, I just, I have her number here. Oh, okay. It's the truth. Is it really yeah. urgent things you call? Just wait for a while? I don't have any money, please. Please, you can type it in and I can just talk to her. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Here oh, you go. Thank you. So yes, much. just be quick, please. I'm yes. not in a hurry. Yes. Um. Then I just dial it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mel? I really need you. Can you come meet me? Yeah, I'll. Where am I? Um. I think I'm in the graveyard. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hope you all the best. Oh, thank you. Lucy? Lucy, what happened to you? Go on. I made it didn't. It's okay. I won't say anything to Simon if you don't want me to. I made a deal with the devil. There must be a mistake. Or misunderstanding. Yeah, don't worry about me. Dad wouldn't do this. Patrick. Then who? I did it for Simon. I didn't have any money and I didn't have anyone else to turn to. You need to tell me who did this. I had to make sure Simon was okay. You don't know how he gets when he hasn't eaten for days. I don't. And I don't plan to ever. I'm sorry that you guys are in the situation, but both of your actions have led you here. Things are starting to move, and I can help you. But I need you to tell me who did this to you. Frankie did this. She's back. I was going to pay you back, but then I, I just... No, it's okay. I can help you. But I need you to do something for me. What can I do for you, Randy? Really? Can we? Do you want to lose Simon? No. I'd do anything for him. Really? I don't believe you. How can you say that? You know how much I love him. From your actions, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'd follow him anywhere. I'd do anything for him, even this to me. Well, it's funny you say that, because you've actually become part of the problem. How? I love him. So do I. Enough to say no to him. You reinforce his self-destruction. You're right. I let him down. But you can be part of bringing him back. Tell me what I have to do. You have to stop. Done. I'd do anything for him. It's a good start. Being the best version of you is the best thing that you can do for him right now. This, this isn't it. Come on, let's get you out of here. I need to call my dad. Amazing.
need it, babe. Thank you. Maybe. Don't even worry about all that. I got you. That's enough to last you for the rest of the week. I told you. Stop doing that. And I told you I'm going to take care of you, get you out of here. What I wanted to say was that I feel like you're the only reason why I haven't lost my mind yet. I mean, I hate this, Del. Look, I know it's not easy for you right now. But you have to trust me, Delilah. I'm gonna make some changes soon. And soon I'll be able to buy you out, get you out, and we can spend the rest of our lives together. You'd do that for me? I would. What's the problem? It's just, I feel like I haven't promised things before and yet I'm still here. Well, those promises weren't for me. You know what this means to me and what I'm willing to do about it. Are you sure? Yes. It's only you, Delilah. You know what? Let me have a word with your boss and get the ball rolling. Sai, we gotta go. So you wanna to talk to me now? Don't have time for this. Let's go. Let's go now, come on. We need to talk. What? I said we need to talk. Dell's waiting. Come on, let's go. There's some things I need to say. Since when you turned deaf? I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. I know I've ruined this family. But I need you to understand, I know. Responsible for my own mistakes. Sammy, do not have time for this. But I do. I've had a lot of time to think and get my mind right. Dad, I can't change what I've done. I can at least apologize. Try to build myself back up. Simon, you will. Never truly understand how proud I am of you. Did you just mistake me for Mel? And I know we're twins, but we don't exactly look alike anymore. Your sister has a long way to go. Why are you so hard on her? She's done so much for this family. Your sister wants to be so much like me, she's losing herself. Yeah, I guess that's my fault. How? She's just trying to fill my shoes. I let you down. No, Simon. I let you both down. Your sister will never be me. She could be so much more. She tries to be strong, but she's the smartest person I know. And you, you survived so much. I see myself in your struggle. And I'm still the head of this family. I should have been there for both of you to guide you for this darkness. You lost mom too. I struggled and crawled and survived so much. But nothing compares to where your mother having to leave us has hurt me. Well, we all have our vices, and we all have our moments to go for it. I don't get to be weak or soft. Things are moving around us now because of it. What do you mean? Frankie's back. Are you Frankie? Yeah. We used to be business competitors. Was? You guys used to work together now? Behind the scenes. Separate organizations. 
So what does this mean? It means things are about to get serious. So I need you to come home and be by my side till we get this sorted out. Well, after all this time, you still trust me to do this with you? Of course, you're my boy. The heart of a warrior like me. The empathy of your mother. Dad, I ain't ready for this. What if I let you down? You won't let me down, Simon. I remember Mel getting ill on your 14th birthdays. What about it? You refused to go to the party without her. Even pretended to be ill just so you could stay and keep her company. Well, she's been through just as much or even more than I have. Couldn't imagine doing it without her. Hey. Dad, Lucy's hurt. We need to move her and get Simon. What? Get her to a safe house. Let's move. Soon, okay? In the meantime, come here. Seems stressed. Do you want to talk about it? Just work stop, babe. No, you can tell me anything. I don't mind. It's boring. I can listen to you talk all day long. <laughs> That's cute. What is? You pretend these things are important. Well, you're more important to me, and so is what you think. So tell me, how are things really going? Okay. Well, let's just say the firm's getting back together. We're going to be ready. Okay, well, just make sure you're careful, okay? Always. You listen. Go, go. But tomorrow I'm coming to take you out. Really? Yeah. I want to take you somewhere special to me. Okay, well, I'll bring a few bits then. No, 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 no. Just wear something comfortable. Low key. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you soon. See you later. Patrick, I need you to give me my belt back. Which colour? The blue one. Okay. It's going to take me about three hours, I reckon. You don't have three hours. Mel's on her way now to collect it for me. All right, mate. Leave it with me. Look, Pat, I know it must be serious, but... Are you alright? We'll catch up when I see you. Sure. This ain't the time to smile, Dad. Let's go. I see you. Miss 
us so much. Dear, dear mum, she was my best friend. I miss her. And now, it's supposed to get easier by now. This family has literally been my purpose ever since I started working with your dad. And when your mum died, it, it changed him now. This hurt us all. I just wish that there was something I could do to help everyone heal. I still can't believe she was ill. She was a fighter, Mel. Just like you. Yeah? Is something wrong? Nah. Nah, I am um, just gonna grab some more stuff for Lucy. Okay. I'll get that. Lucy! Is she okay? She needs to rest. Babe. You know. It's me, Lou. I'm gonna try help. some money. I need to get something for her. No, no, Simon. I'm not doing it again. And if you do it, we can't be together. You're hurting, Luce. It'll make resting easier. Oh, Simon. We need to get through this. Now. I'm not strong enough right now. Come here. No. She's got broken ribs. Who did this to you? Did you do this? I can't believe you would ask me that. Then who? Let's go get messy, Vic. Here. It's looking that way, Pat. I'm sorry to bring you into this. Nah, mate. You don't have to say sorry. It's what we do, yeah? Go. She wants to see you. Time, location. One hour. And you know the spot. I'll see you there. I'll be waiting. Things are starting to get serious, Sai. Your family needs you. Right. Pat's gone to see Del. I'm going to meet Frankie. We need to go. Vic, can you watch Lucy? Yeah, of course. Mel. I'm sorry. I ain't ready for this. I'm gonna stay with Lucy. No, Simon. It's okay. Go. I'll be fine. 
You trust Vic, right? I do. So? Look, if anything happens, I'll call you straight away. Yeah? Lucy, are you sure? Yes, I am. I'm not the only one that needs you. Are you gonna leave your father to face her alone? Look at her face, Simon. Look at what Frankie did to her. Go, go get it done. So you can come back to me. If I do this, Lucy, I need to do something for you. Anything. I mean, it depends what it is. If you're ever in trouble, Promise me you let me know so I can help. I will. You can't help her like this. I know. You're right. <sighs> Hello? No, no, I wasn't with a client. I just... I I couldn't get to the phone in time, and I'm sorry about that. I sound nervous. Look, I wouldn't hide anything from you, I swear. Okay, well, I wanted to ask you something. I know, I have paid you back double than what I owed, but you gonna let me go I mean this this was never meant to be my life and I'm begging you to just just let me go what is it nothing dad was doing the same thing earlier it's just good to have you back yeah I needed to go through that I know well I'm here now and I never plan on losing myself again. Come on, Dad needs us, let's go. You really think he's gonna be different from the rest of them? But I know who he is and what he's done. I also know what happened to the last one he was having fun with. Oh, did you forget you weren't his first? Why would he want you after everything you've done? And on top of that, you betrayed him. I'm the only one that you have. Don't forget, I saved you. <laughs>